Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Oz Basketball Training and today I am going to talk to you about some advanced middle school basketball plays. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Oz Basketball Training. If you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills and skills, so if you like that stuff, hit that like button and subscribe. But anyways, today I'm going to talk to you about some advanced basketball plays that you can use with your middle school basketball team. This is obviously uh, plays that are for teams that know the basics, they know how to basically run as a team, that kind of thing. So let's get down to the clipboard and let's check out these basketball plays. Okay, so in this first basketball play, what we're going to have is player four setting a screen for player one, who is going to use that screen, and then he's going to be going and continuing through, and then having player three as a dribble handoff. While this is happening, instead of player four rolling towards the basket, what he's going to be doing is continuing through. Player one is probably going to fight through. If he doesn't, then player four is going to switch off one or the other. And then what's going to happen is player four is going to go and set a screen for player five. And then at this time, player three is still going to be using player one as a screen. And player five is going to be cutting towards the rim. Now, what we're looking for is either a shot from player three, a pass to player five for the layup, or player two is also going to be popping up and he may be open for a shot as well somewhere in this area. Now, what our number one option is in this play is player five. We're looking for player five to get that basket because with him rolling off of that screen, he should be open for that layup. Now there is always that option or possibility that player four switches off or if there was even a switch here and the team is only running switch defense, then you might have a mismatch with player five, in which case get it to him in the post for the easy layup. So there is a play that works really well and gives you a couple of different opportunities. Number one option is a layup. Second option is a three-point shot from player three. Or our third option is a three-point or mid-range shot from player two. Now our next play that I'm going to show you is we're going to have player two cutting across the baseline towards that that corner down there and then we're gonna have player three using player five as well as player four as a screen player three is gonna be using both of those players as a screen and he should be open on this side for a mid-range or three-point shot or he could cut through and also go in for a layup so it's gonna look like this player two is gonna go out to that side player three is gonna be using player five and four as a double screen if player three doesn't pop out and he starts cutting down towards the rim player one needs to lob the ball to him unless player one wants to take a little bit uh, of a dribble to the right or if he sees and knows and you set up this play before where player three cuts to the rim what you can do is have player one take a dribble or two to his left side so that he can have a better passing lane to player three now of course player four and five could cut off that pass but if it's a high enough lob uh, you can get it to player three even easier. Now, the benefit to this play is what you can also have is player three can then continue out. I don't know why that's a dotted line, but it should be a solid line. He can continue out. Let's say he wasn't, he was covered and he wasn't open. Player two can then go up and use the double screen as well and set up a shot from a three mid range or again a layup as well. Now this third basketball play is a three out two in basketball offense. We're going to have player four setting a screen up for player two. Player two is going to use that screen and he's going to cut towards the rim. Obviously he may be open for a layup, but while this is happening, we're going to also have player three setting up a screen for player one. Now player one could take a few steps in and take the shot or player two is going to continue out, use player five as a screen, and he may be open in the mid-range or three-point line area as well. So now we have multiple different options. We could have got a layup from there. We could also get a, a mid-range or three-point shot from here, and we can also get a mid-range or three-point shot from here as well. Now, one of my most favorite plays that I have ran, uh, this one I ran at a grade nine level and we ran it really consistently was we ran a triangle offense and we would enter the triangle offense like this now once player two gets that ball what we're looking to do is I would have player three setting a screen for player four who would receive the pass and player three would then go down to that low post at this time we would have player one 
he would go and use player 5 and player 3 as a screen and he would pop out to this corner where now player 4 would dribble over to that right side and he would pass the player 1 for a 3 point or mid range shot. Uh, this play alone got my my shooting guard he was a grade 8 playing at, at the grade 9 level. Uh, in one of our games, it was against Ancaster, he dropped 21 points. Uh, I think it was 21 or 22 points from this play alone, all in the first half alone. First half, 21 points from one single play we ran over and over and over again. Now again, like I was mentioning, we ran a triangle offense, and this is technically where you would start with a triangle offense, because there would be an entry pass, he would go down here. Now, to kind of counteract that, because let's say you're ran, running the same play many times over and over again, and they know, well, if you set up this way, uh, you're going to be running that play most likely, well, you can kind of mess with them. So what we're going to do here is have player 3 set a screen down for player 4, who's going to pop out over here. We're going to have player 5 screen up for player 2, who's going to be cutting towards the rim now what we're hoping for is player one passing to player four for either a shot or possibly having player two open in the in the low post in the key for that layup so this is a nice quick hitter that you can run so that you can get an easy couple of points now I hope that you have enjoyed these basketball plays. I hope that they help your middle school team score more points against more basic teams. Anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed and I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another daily basketball video.